say you are. <laughs> hey, Timmy. Hey, so we're done. Do you like it? I love it. I know. And it's really good. Now that we're done arranging the house, mm -hmm. I think it's about time we messed it up a little bit. Let's start with a bedroom, what do you think? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As usual, you know I have to keep fit. I don't even know how you do it. You don't work out yet, you look so good. Compliments accepted. <laughs> be safe out there, baby. I will be. So next date, come on. Mm. I didn't see you go. I love to watch you leave. You're crazy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, hello, hello. How are you doing? Good morning, sir. I'm done with that formal. I'm Tomax. I'm Louisa. Can I help you? Is there a problem? Well, there's no problem. How can it be? Of course, there's no problem. Such a beautiful and fine girl like you. Well, I mean, personally, I don't know if we can be on this night, but it seems I'm so busy this night here. Yeah. Maybe so you could take make money now. I'm hungry, but just catch you. Ah. Just like that? Just like that, too. I didn't even know how to, to, to react. If I should be upset, if I should feel insulted. I was just so mad. So, since ladies that go for jogging to the mornings has turned into high class prostitutes, babes, I think you should register at the gym because that is harassment. It'd be like saying nobody will for this town again, no? But, babes, I'm not saying that the guy is not a psycho or anything, but look at you. You're too sexy. Uh uh. Your camel toe is so arousing. Please, next time put on a jacket, okay? No, you guys will not tell me how to dress, okay? He's the <laughs> one at fault. It's not my fault, okay? okay? Okay, no problem. You guys should just honestly not spoil my day today, eh? Please, I, I have some cooking proposal to do. You already know about it. Let me focus on that. That's what I'm talking about. E for energy! Sexy baby! Look at you! <laughs> See, hey, where's my bag? Um, uh, I'm not sure. I saw it in the wardrobe this morning. You must be the newly transferred consultant, correct? Um, yes, ma. I, I just resumed work this morning and I'm really sorry I, I couldn't... Oh, no, it, it's fine. <laughs> I saw you earlier while I was driving in. And I must say, you made an impression on me. If you have any problems or any questions, you can just come to me, okay? Wow, um, that's very kind of you. Thanks for the gesture. You're welcome. Like I said, you made an impression and I am hardly impressed. I'm sure we'll have a good time together working. <laughs> yeah, I, I pray I pray so. You can go. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. So you look absolutely stunning. You said that like a hundred times today. Thank you. Because it's the truth. I can't even get my eyes off you. Thank you, babe. Eat your food. Yes, okay. Please try. Really? Can you imagine this thing? No, baby, no, baby, don't calm me down. 
How can you bring the bill and be asking who will pay for it? The bill I said is okay. Madam, this is our new policy here that we ask who pays the bill. Some women actually take men out here and they pay. Your mama don't ever take your papa out. I said it's no, enough. No, tell me. Your mama don't ever take your papa out. Baby, it's enough. Are you crazy? Calm down. Is this New York? Is it enough. This is the kind of reason that I still keeping you in this situation. Anyways, so I don't even blame down. you. Please, don't calm me down. Don't calm me. So now you're taking sides with him. I'm just trying you want to, to take sides with him. Come on. You disgust me. I'm out. Meet me in the car. Babe. Okay. Babes, mm? what happened to splitting the bills or politely telling the waitress that this is a man's bill to handle? That's the one entitled woman. I feel so sorry for that guy. Well, yes, to be honest, I hate her manner of approach, but I kind of see reasons with her. The man should be able to foot majority of the bill. Wait, I thought you were a feminist. So, what does that have to do with anything? The society as it is already does not give the woman the same financial rights as the man. So the least that the man can do is actually take care of majority of the bill. So are you saying that all this while I've not been a good man? Because for 11 years we've been splitting bills 50-50 and you've never complained about it. Different strokes for different folks. I don't mind because I'm also earning money. I don't care about it. But I just feel like it doesn't mean... It means so. Maybe it means you've had this in your mind all this while and you now have the opportunity to unveil it because you have the chance to do so. Are you joking? How am I joking? You're just blowing things out of proportion. Just How a... am I blowing this out of proportion? Are you serious right now? We're just having a conversation. We're talking about something that happened earlier. So why are you shouting at me? You know what it means to blow things out of proportion? How about me sleeping in the couch? That is blowing things out of proportion. Ah, ah. Why do you always have to be so angry? This guy, you know they sleep. Hi, pretty lady. Hi. Before you start anything, please, I'm not here for men. I'm just here to try to learn how to play basketball. So please just leave me alone. Come on, why are you addressing me that way? You don't even know me. Why would you address me that way? I don't know the kind of guys you've been meeting, but trust me, I'm different. Okay. I'm sorry about that, but I'd like to be alone now. Okay. Uh, can I have your number, that please? No. Can I please have your number? No.
We never go to bed angry at each other. I don't want us to start now. I'm sorry, baby. And I realize that the people that are making us angry might be somewhere enjoying themselves. For us, what's for the cooking? You <coughs> usually make this for lunch. Yes, but um, Matilda got me a cooking job, okay? This school, they want food for their school teachers and I'll be making food for them henceforth. As my taster that you are, I wanted you to please taste it and let me know what you think about it. I don't need to taste it because I know you're going to blow your mind. Oh, thank you. I will have my before I set off to work. I know. We'll get a contract. I will. I love, you. love you too, baby. Go back to something? Me. What is that? <laughs> no. All right, see ya. Take care of yourself, huh? Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Ma. <laughs> I, I would not take this for granted. You're welcome. Um, can we have dinner tomorrow? Ah, that would be great. Well, why, why don't we have dinner with my family tonight? I actually told my woman that you were dropping me off home. Um, you're married? Uh, something like that. Okay, kids. Um, you see, the thing is, Ma, we, we are not legally married. We just live together. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay then. I guess next time. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in the office tomorrow. Sure. Bye bye. Man. Bye. Dad is leaving all of this workload for me. What would they not be doing at the head office? I only have 15 active staff. And Dr. Fred is on leave. Well, I shouldn't be the one carrying everybody's workload when they go on leave. Anyway, I shouldn't be complaining to you. Are you going to stay or do I have my driver drop you off? No, I'm staying safe. Great. Because you're going to be doing some kitchen work. Today is Abigail's day off and I am hungry. Don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make me something to eat please, while I look at this document? All right, sis. All right, thank you. Cheers to more contracts, baby. Cheers. 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 Ooh. Matilda, you're a good friend. Thank you so much for doing this for us. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> she has done so much for me in university. I know, right? So. <laughs> oh, 
I'll be back. Okay, no problem. So. So what were we saying? Mm -hmm. All that stuff we were saying. Yeah. I don't know. Hello, pretty ladies. Hi. Uh, um, yeah, I know you're all having fun. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, can I see you? Me? Yes, you. Hope there's no problem. Oh, no problem at all. I only break good tidings. Excuse me. You know you're a very beautiful lady, right? Thank you. I'm sure that's not why I'm here. Yeah, you're very right. That's not why you're here, and I will tell you why you're here. It's about my brother. He's a very persuasive guy when he wants something. And today's his birthday. I want to get him a gift. Okay, so you need me to give you an opinion concerning a gift? No, no, he already chose his gift. And that will be me introducing you to him and making sure everything goes smoothly. Let me get this straight. Your brother is a very persuasive man. Yeah, very persuasive. And he thinks he can just get me without lifting a finger. Ah, oh, come on, my brother can lift more than a finger if he's got you. And we can monetize this. I can pay you for your time. Hey, Tilda, any yeah. problem here? No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, if you make up your mind, I'll be on my seat, Shell. About what? What? Are you serious? Yeah, just calm down. But let me show this boss. Nobody, nobody, are you serious? Stop. Is, is she crazy? I think you need to calm down. Calm down? Are you serious? You were basically called a whore the other time, and today your friend was nearly pinned by only God knows who. Why didn't you follow that man that approached you when you had your come out to our showcase? Please don't insult me, Timmy. I understand you're angry, but do not insult me. You know what? What? I think this town is beginning to have an effect on you. Now let me call normal, Abi. Huh? Who is normal? Me. Are you really? You are normal, Timmy. You think I don't know what's going on with you and your boss? The way the fact that she brings you back home here, or the fact that there's no more any Uber in this town that you always have to enter her car? Or you think I don't see you when you sneak to go pick up those calls? Eh? Say that to my face again. I said you're abnormal, Timmy. You know what, Louisa? What? I want a 30 days break. Yes, you can go out there and live that life that you want, and I'll live mine. You can go out there and meet people, and I'll meet people, and we'll see who will lose. I don't know why you're doing this. You're just looking for an excuse. Um, hold on, I can't talk right now. Let me get to a seat, please. Thank you. 
What's going on here? Good afternoon, Ma. You must be Mr. Timini's sister. Oh, sorry. I'm Maria, a food vendor. I'm here for home services. Did you just say Timini's sister? Yes, that's what I was told. Don't worry, Ma. Just relax and be taken care of. Soon be done. So you had the effrontery? to bring a woman into our house to cook in my kitchen without my consent? Eh? You even told her that I'm your sister, Timini. What do I call someone I have known since childhood that I don't have any romantic connections with? You call me your brother. I call you sister too. You want to stab me, Abby? No, now, come on. People will cook plenty for town. You can't use it to do shakara on me, you understand? Is that what you want now? That's what you want? No problem. The battle line has been drawn. 30 days, Abby. No problem. What? I beg your pardon. I tell you, babes. Ha. Since he said he wants a break, I'm comfortable with that. Me, I am officially done. I'm ready to get back in the market to link up with guys. I don't know. I'm a bit unsure about this, but I don't mind. You can link me up now. But how about that guy now that you told me about? The one that you said was on my case. Okay, yeah, as a matter of fact, he asked about you yesterday. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, so link us up then. Oh, no problem. I'm going to call him right away. Correct. <laughs> yes, girl. Yeah, I don't have time now. The last time I checked, you told me that you were leaving with your girlfriend. What changed? Oh, come on. We can't keep denying that we have a chemistry going on between us. Exchanging looks and stealing glances. Why don't we go out on a date as two adults and see where this leads? Wow. Okay. You know, I've actually been waiting for this day to come. The first day I drove in here and I set my eyes on you, I just wished for this day. Okay, how about we do lunch tomorrow? Is that okay? Perfect. Okay. Lunch then.
Anything the matter? Oh, I forgot to keep you this earlier on. Madame wants you to drop this at her house on your way home. At her house? Yep. How am I supposed to know where her house is? It's inside the document. The address is there. Thank you. Bye. Wow. This is a very lovely place. Hi. Uh, hello. I see that you're catching up with my cousin. Oh yes, he's he's an amazing guy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, Joe. You can leave now. Just tell Daddy I'll come over for the weekend, okay? Okay, sis. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, bro. All right. You're welcome to the family. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Uh, <laughs> Mirabel, you're, you're a very irresistible woman. Uh, under normal circumstances, I should be all over you by now. So why aren't you? You see, I have been with just one girl ever since I knew what the word love means. And I'm trying to wrap myself from 11 years of being with just her. So if you make advances at me and you see me pulling myself away, it means that a part of me is yearning for her and... Still loyal to her? Hmm? I hope I didn't hurt you with my words. No. I just need a little bit of time. You know, actually, I love loyalty. And I appreciate gratification delayed. But don't make me wait for too long, okay? Okay. Um, thanks for understanding. <laughs> It's okay. Um, this is the file that you asked me to drop. <laughs> Look, this is a junk mail. I just used it to lure you to me. That's all. Matilda said you're a good cook. I wasn't expecting this level of service. <laughs> Trust me. This date trumps any restaurant suggestion I must have had in mind. Oh. Yeah. I'm very glad. <laughs> you know, I like to take care of my men, so you're wow. welcome. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, brother Timini. How far now? That's my brother. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to join us or do you want me to bring your food upstairs? Sis, can I talk to you about a huge trash somewhere in the house? Huge trash somewhere in the house? But you know how it is now. Sometimes the things that you consider to be trash is actually valuable to me. Anyways, let's not argue. I'm seeing if you please just excuse right, me. Right. Let's just go upstairs. What? Do you really hate me this much? Hey, why would I hate my own brother? Oh, cut it with this nonsense. Oh, cut it already. We're not cutting anything yet. So you had the temerity to tell some girl that I'm just your sister. But now you have a problem with me introducing you as my brother? How many days did you give me? How many days? 30, right? We only just began. <laughs> you will soon see something. <laughs>
2 a.m. to me. 2 a.m. Eh? I guess you were with your boss, were you? Did you guys have fun? Did you? I honestly do not owe you any explanation. And even if I did, everything isn't about Mirabel, okay? So I'm going on a date with someone who I met. <laughs> I know, right? Come, let me show you pictures. What do you consign me with pictures? Huh? I don't ask you for all this once. So. If you like, go and meet Antonio Joshua. You don't consign me. Oh, wow. I'm just doing what is expected of brothers and sisters. Oh. If you don't want to tell me anything, me, I want to tell you. But it's okay, no problem. See you later. I'll have fun on my date. you have fun at home. <laughs> Kimi, better take it easy. Oh my God. Hmm. So you suddenly put all your hope of getting money on a young man who paid for our drinks and took your number? Kim. Oh, Ellie. See, uh, one thing about me is that my instinct it never fails me. I don't even know why I didn't collect his number. Hmm? How am I going to pay for this room tomorrow now? Ah, I don't tire. Bill, bill everywhere. Just scroll contact, scroll contact. Nothing is coming out now. Hi. You know, I've been thinking. It's high time we stopped all this one thing. And look for a decent way of making money. Yes, our own money. You know, all these wrong, wrong things don't, it don't tire me, I swear. You know, every time I have to come to this place, I got to put up one excuse or the other to my brother. For I'm not to suspect, say, something they go on. But even at that, he's beginning to suspect so many things. And aside that even, ah, Kim, I don't tire. See, I get one girl like that for my brother's estate. Mm -hmm. This girl, local. But if you see the kind of money this girl on the count these days, eh, you say will shake. Do you know what she does? She tell me, say, she de go balogo market. Mm -hmm. She de buy stuffs, shoes, clothes, cheap cheap ones, oh, bags. She will come put her for that estate gate there, the seller. Mm -hmm. I can't reason her. Ah, that it makes sense, so. Oh. And you know, say, you and I, we at least we learn it small now. We know things. You know, say, this same thing when this girl they do. We feel buy them. Buy shoes, buy bags, buy clothes. Like, we go to sell them all, like, let me show you. See, see the hey, wait, wait. Mm, hold it. Sure you don't, you don't fly finish. Eh? You're landing, Abby. Let me catch you. Now, um, where are you going to get the capital to use and fund this business you're talking about? You go climb three clock money, Abby. Eh? Madam motivational speaker to uh, uh, aspire to perspire to inquire to mass mm -hmm. I see they do you for body. See, eh? Hey, no tension me. You see this money? Don't tension me, I beg. Eh? My brain is full. It's full already. No tension me, I beg. I beg, I beg you. Balogun call, balogun ni. Be butting come on. Sorry. Hey, no tension me, oh. I beg. I don't hear. I beg. I beg. See, we'll fist with 5,000. See, babe, you go and start with 5,000 yourself there. No, 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 just, no. Hey, come. What the hell is this? 
I ordered for Graveyard, not Long Island. Madam, this is Graveyard. <laughs> graveyard cocktail is my favorite cocktail. And now your low life want to tell me what it tastes like. Sweetheart, can you please calm down? No, do not tell an angry black woman to calm down. Madam, what is this? This is Graveyard, madam. This is Graveyard? Yeah. You're still arguing with me. This is Graveyard. Madam. How is it Graveyard? It tastes like it's Long Island for goodness sake. Babe, you're causing a scene. What is this? What's wrong with you? Oh, please, just sit down and keep quiet. I ordered for Graveyard, not Long Island. How dare you? Are you serious? Yes. I'm sorry. I don't want to say that. Simini. 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 What's the meaning of that? You disrespect me like that? Are you serious? You just showed me a different side of you. Caused the scene, insulted me, and disrespected my ego, and you're playing the victim? Did you not hear the guy insult me indirectly? And did you not hear the man you claim you want asking you to calm down? Look, I know you're my boss. But if this has to work, you have to listen to me outside the office. <laughs> so you went to puppets? What? Do I look like your ex fiancé Hmm? I know my worth. I am not a woman that you can control. Exactly. You're nothing like her. So I am ending this. Whatever this is, situationship, relationship, it has come to an abrupt end. See you in the office, boss. Simini. Simini. Um, there's this other story. Um, my friend introduced a lady to me and Thank you. I've had enough of your story. Are you bored with my story or um, you need another wine? Um, waitress, um, how much is that wine? Two. Yes, this one, yes. Ten, Ten what? Ten you must be a thief. A very big thief. In fact, who is your manager? Where is your manager? Oh, you think because you're a lady, you can steal from me? Look at you, I don't get joy, you. So, how was your date with Prince Charming? Oh, it was very good, thank you. Yours? Oh, it was intriguing. Whatever. You're finally going on a date with this guy. This guy is so naive. Like, I can feel it with his composure and everything. The guy is too freaking naive. Ah. <sighs> I'm just worried for you. I just pray you don't get into the wrong hand. You know, you and Body. You guys dated for six months before he allowed you moved into his house. And it has always been your priority to move into a guy's house once you're dating. So are you saying you're going to buy another six months with this, your newfound guy? Helly, 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 honestly, I won't lie to you. Eh? I have been racking my brain on this one, like I have been thinking about how I'm going to do this. But the truth is that I can. I just have to, I can do it. And besides, I can't keep paying for this place now. Do you know how much I'm burning in a day? I can't keep paying for this place. And you don't want to talk to your brother, so please, can you just let me do my thing? Thank you. Kim, okay, must you always go there? 
Mm -hmm. Eh? Mm. Each time I try talking to you about something, you have to just switch it to me not talking to my brother and all of that. <sighs> but honestly speaking, have you considered that if this whole thing doesn't go away, how will it be? Like, if it doesn't go as expected. Helly, please, can you stop being pessimistic around me? Can you just stop being pessimistic around me for once? Can you stop it? I'm just being concerned for you. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just worried. I don't like that concern. Stop being pessimistic around me. I don't like it. I beg. I don't like bad energy at all at all. I don't ah, like him. Bad energy. I don't like him. For please. this multi where I talk. I beg. Babes now. I'm your friend now. Uh-uh. I just didn't worry for you. No worry yourself. Please, ah, stop sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't do it before you chop me, I beg. Uh-uh. Mm. Okay. I beg, do the makeup me. You can't do it. Every time. You don't do now, it's fine. Ah, go, go, go. Good night, good afternoon. I don't even know anyone. Shall they, they go? Why am I even oh, yeah. safe? <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. So what got you attracted to me? Like, what did you see? I know you must have heard it from so many men, but I still have to say it. You're very pretty. And I love the fact that you don't wear provocative outfits. Yeah. I mean, this whole date has been nothing short of perfection. You know, I love the fact that you have a lot going on for yourself and I love a woman that is liberated to the core. Okay, um, so here we are. Consultant, a writer. In, in fact, if you ask me if this was an examination, Fast with flying colors because <laughs> this date has been nothing but successful. It has been beautiful. Oh, yeah? Very interesting. You know what? Why don't we make our next date a little bit more personal? How so? I mean, you come over to my house. Even though I'm not really a good cook, I could whip something really nice for her. Oh, come on, just leave the whole cooking to me. That's a woman thing. Won't you let me do my job? Music to my ears. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> No, not again. Oh, yeah. So, she won't be coming to the office today, and you would have to take this down to her house for a proper review. Who was the guy that takes these documents to her house before I was transferred here? Um, I would say some other cute guy that was fired two weeks before you were transferred here. But anyways, that's a part. Please, the document. I don't want trouble. Please take it to her. Please, I beg. Um, wait. Do you know a guy named Bobby that works here? My guy. Hey, um, What's sorry up? for disturbing you. Okay. Have a seat. Alright. I am so sorry for disturbing you. It's fine. Sarah gave a hint that she knows what's going on. With Mirabel? Yes. Come on, come on, bro. It's 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 no news. It's it's one of those things that play in the office that no one talks about. Wow. Um so that means that this isn't personal with her. Is, is this what she does? <laughs> well, I I might lose my job if this gets to her. But um, because there's no proof to say I said anything to you, I, 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 I will indulge. Bro, with Mirabel, OK? It's, you have to enjoy it while it lasts. She, she, she might be real this time, but I must tell you, you are not the only employee that she has gotten this kind of admiration to. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say or how to feel. But, but wait, sorry, sorry to pry. There's this... Uh, this beautiful, sweet-looking lady that used to come around here to be visit you before. Oh, you mean Louisa? We we broke up. <laughs> should we should we say sorry about that or glory be to God? Eleven years of happiness, 
So sorry is the word. Look, I don't mean to be naive or anything, and I have not said this to anybody in this world. She's the only woman I've slept with. Say what? No, oh God, that's, that's the truth. Now? This, this should be um, a virgin plus one situation. Yeah, and, 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 and you're here trying to ask questions of, of how to be serious with, with another woman? Come on, come on, my guy, come on. See, this is the time for you to, you know, see the world, explore, all right? Uh, set out to see what life has to offer, you know, uh, do the do's and the don'ts, you know, uh, check into some different categories of women. I must tell the truth, it, you, you will love it. See, it will actually help you out to figure out what's going on with you and your long time relationship. See, if I were you, all right, I won't ask questions of being too serious, all right? Because um, I, I will tell you that you have the golden opportunity to play out without, without cheating, all right? So, bro, enjoy yourself and have fun, buddy. Wow. Well, this is a lot to digest, but thank you very much. You must have to digest, bro. <laughs> you must have to. Yeah. It's okay, thank you. Oh, I see you. Uh, see you, but I have something to catch up on. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Really appreciate it. You care for lunch? No, I'm okay. Alright, All right, take care, bro. Come in. I'm sorry about what happened. Please come in. I am sure this is also a junk. Yeah, please sit. Wow. Sit. You actually came all out. I was actually beginning to forget that this actually means nothing to you. Oh. How would you say that? I love you, Timini. I am actually in love with you. <laughs> I feel so good whenever I'm around you. I've never felt about any man the way I feel about you. I am ready to love, respect, and listen to you. And I've never done that before. You, you, you're sure you mean this? Of course I do. You're different. You're unique in all standards. I feel so good when I'm around you. Why don't you let me into your heart? If you're truly done with Louisa, allow me to break these walls that you've built around your heart. Please let me in. Please. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, sorry, I, I think I'm thirsty. Oh, I, I have wine in the bar downstairs. No, I, uh, I want cold water from the refrigerator, okay? Sorry. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs>
Who the hell is Kim? And why is she blowing up your phone? Wow. Have you suddenly forgotten that this relationship is like a minute old and I'm going to be talking to someone? Can you just calm down and let me explain? My goodness. Why do I keep belittling myself, hanging around riffraffs like you? A common level B employer? You should be appreciative that I want to be with you. Who the hell is she and who is her father? Jesus Christ, all this in a few minutes? Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm so stupid to think that you can ever calm down. At least you and I can agree on one thing. That you're stupid. And don't you ever, ever in your life tell me to calm down again. Now, who the hell is Kim? Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that words have nothing to do with actions and people can never change. Let me take my stupid self home if I say something I can never take back. Get out. Welcome to my place. Thank you. You're I welcome. know it's too early for this, but I really missed you. <laughs> Look, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I was so busy. Make yourself comfortable. Let me get you something to drink, okay? <laughs> okay. But uh, before you get me something to drink, but please, can you enlighten me about this um, young lady in the frame? Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> Wait, you want wine? Because whilst you're cooking, you need something to drink. Okay, red wine it is. Red wine coming up. Okay. Make yourself comfortable, yeah? Uh huh. Woo! Welcome home, Kim. Woo! Must be another vendor. Oh my god, you, you startled me. Hi, ah, you must be Louisa. I'm Kim, your brother's girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I did not of you guys in my house. Get out of my house right now. Sorry, um, so your name is? Okay, I'm Kim. I'm your brother's girlfriend. Okay, yeah. that's good. So you're here on a date? Of course. He's cooking for him, right? Yeah. Well, I have a brilliant idea. <laughs> Thank you. How about we have a double date? Oh, that's a beautiful plan. Alright. Nice. What's going on here? Oh, baby! You never told me your sister is a very sweet person, like she's the best. Oh. Hello, welcome back, brother. Well, I saw King, your girlfriend, cooking and I decided to, you know, call my man so we could have a double date. She didn't mind.
So, Kim, uh, you already told me how you guys met, but you did not tell me about your first date. I'd like to know. Okay. Our first date, he took me to this very wonderful restaurant, and trust me, he gave me a real treat. Like, it's so nice of you, babe. Wow. I mean, you can't really call it a treat, especially if you had to split the bill. Oh, no, come on. Your brother can't do that. Your brother paid for everything. This is an old-fashioned man. Like, I love him the values and that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with him. Thank you. <laughs> wow. This is news to me. I mean, the man I know, that's my brother, he happened to have dated a lady for over 11 years. Hard working, beautiful lady and they always beat the bill. In fact, there was not a single day that he ever paid for their meals. So it's like news to me, you know what, what I mean? about me? Cameron, you're such a lucky guy. Because I never thought my sister here would have a first and second date with a guy in our house. You know, she has these rules and I, it seems she's really breaking them for you. I'm sure you guys must have done it. Don't what, brother Timini? Done it? What is it? You are very stupid. <laughs> I said <sighs> Don't you think that that's an inappropriate question to ask our guest? Well... Now, I don't think there's anything inappropriate about us again. Hmm. Oh, look who it is. Mom, see, she just sent me a message. She needs us to video call her right now. Well, let's not keep her waiting then. Let's go then. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us, please. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. There was a lot of tension. Really? Why would you ask him that kind of question? Is that really how cheap you think I am? There are so many things I thought you weren't. And recent events are beginning to make me question myself about you. <laughs> also, since you and your boyfriend will not let Kim and myself have some quality time together, I'm taking her out. Excuse me. What's wrong? Why don't you want to have any kind of romantic relation with me? Even your brother assumed we should have had sex by now. Well, what my brother doesn't know is that I'm celibate. Okay? I mean, you make me want to break that celibacy, but I just need a little more time. Can you be, be patient with me? See, Louisa, I don't know who broke your heart. I don't know why you built this wall around you. Listen, I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this at all. You're beautiful. And I want to have something serious with you. But it's very obvious you're not ready. And I'm gonna let you be. But listen, you only live once. Make it count. Goodbye.
Kem. Hmm. What is happening here? Hmm. Huh? What is going on? Oh, come on. So he says love make you a man. That was a very magical night. Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I thought I used condoms. Oh, okay. Um, about the condom. Mm, you didn't actually think twice um, when you ripped it off and climbed with me. Baby, that was beautiful. That is not true. I would never have unprotected sex with you. The only person I've done that with, I always made sure we were safe and that we were in love. You're lying. I'm lying. Yes, you're lying. Wow. Where are you going to? Where, where, where are you dressed? I am going to my house. Don't text me. Don't call me. I don't want to ever see you again. What's wrong with you? He hasn't got into this. Baby, why are we doing this to each other? Why are we hurting each other like this? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I thought, even for once, that you weren't the woman that I needed. I'm sorry for calling you my sister. Stupid idea. Very stupid. I know I messed up and we've drifted apart, but can we try again? I waited for you to say that was so good. I love you. I love you too. I really do. Mm -hmm. So you said you're what? Pregnant for your brother. Pregnant? How? <laughs> How? How? By sex. Or oh, Timini, should I start to explain to her in so many languages and so many styles? Should I explain to her? You know, I'm really, really happy that I gave you back that ring, asking you to propose at the right time. Because obviously that right time will never come. Baby, please. Baby, I swear I don't know what happened that night. I'll never be that careless to have unprotected sex with, with a stranger. Baby, listen to me. We know where this is. This plan is actually working out. I can't hold him. Did you hear them? He actually called her baby. Kim, I, I thought you said they are siblings. You're not saying anything. Please stop standing like this now. Calm down. Hey. My goodness. Babe, wake up. Can't you see you're trying to tear this happy couple apart? Oh my god, Haley. Listen, Kim. Yes, I, 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 I was part of this plan for you to come and tell him you're pregnant. But right now, at this point, I am so pulling out. Listen, there's this love, Kama. It will definitely come back to you. Please, please, I'm out of this. I can't. I know you're disgracing me now. Go back here now. Baby, baby, listen, baby, please, we can work this out. See, drama, drama, drama. Baby! Timini, I thought you said shut up! Now, I don't know what is going on, but you have to get rid of that baby. Timini, okay, I agreed. I'll get rid of the baby. That's what you want, right? But let me explain to you, there is a slight complication here. This pregnancy is an ectopic pregnancy, and Timini, whether you want it or not, not. Whether you want it reversed or aborted, it is going to cost you money because I'm going to have to go into surgery because of this. So I'm going to sit here till Mini till you give me money for the surgery. Are you just shut up? Shut the hell up! You're not treating me right, I'm your You're very stupid. Baby! Yeah. 
Oh, I know how you feel. Don't worry, my home is your home. And you're welcome anytime. Hmm? Let me go and get you something. You sent for me. Timini, I'll just go right into it. In one hand, I have your salary and your sack letter. Thank God you've been coming to work late these days. That way I have plausible reasons as to why I should sack you. And in my other hand, I have your promotion letter and a life of bliss with me. Choose one. Can I have one that assures I will have absolutely nothing to do with you? Timini. Timini. Heli, Heli, please, eh? If you have come here to talk me out of this, I am begging you. Please, can you just leave respectfully? Please, eh? Leave. Look at this place now. I don't land Lagos jackpot like this, so this is my home. Please, I beg. Kim. Mm. So all these things now, they okay for your eye? Okay, fine, let me ask you. What happens when you're supposed to be four months gone and there's no baby bomb to show off? This one is talking four months. Who is waiting till four months? Oh, well, give me two months, I don't miscarry this big baby. Oh. Eh? I say I'm going to miscarry the fake baby on that two months now. And that two months, now the two months where they give this Timini guy to get over this lady. In two months time, he's going to be over her. In two months time, there will be no baby. And my life is going to be the way I want it to be. Baby girl, I'm in charge. I am in charge for once in my life. I am in charge. And I am not... Can you stop? Could you just stop all this? No. Kim, my ask you. Just imagine, say... And you be this Baba God with the heaven. Will they sit down for that intro and they watch us? Hmm? You can't be saying all these things the way they do. There's no time in for you saying that you be God, you they watch them like send a film. I beg sure you know go send thunder. We no get addressed, make it strike you die. Ha -ha. I know be God now. I beg now, hey, leave me now. As I know be God, please. Kim, Kim what, what, what is wrong with you? I can't be homeless again now. What do you want me to do? Ha, ha ba. Okay, this, so this is all about you not wanting to be homeless. Is it? What language have I been speaking since? <sighs> eh? Okay, fine. What if I tell you that I have good news for you? Mm, give me good news, let me know. Okay. What if I tell you that you have a new home? Hilly, <laughs> no, the why me now? You don't buy a house. Uh, uh, stop now, nah, get on me. <laughs> don't buy a house. <laughs> You have a new okay, but I'm serious. Wait till you I don't understand. You know, you always accuse me of not talking to my brother for you and all of that. Mm -hmm. I've actually been talking with him. I've always been discussing, but he never gave me an answer. So guess what? Yes, and he says you can come live with us. Are you for real? I'm, for, I'm serious. I can come. Yes, I should come back to the house and live with us. Oh my God. Listen, the good part is, he even said everything you did was in the past. Guy is forgiving you. Yes, babe. You say freezing him now, eh? Kim, this is not you. You don't allow these things to enter you too much. Babe. Allow person on better so that you go feel better for you. Yes. Make I even ask you. What do you think will happen if Timini decides to take you to his own hospital and all these things come back fire. Eh? Hey? Listen, babe. You are dealing with a man who just lost the love of his life. He's capable of anything. No sit down here. Let me say I come to you now, I beg. Let's get you out of here even before he returns. So it doesn't hurt you. Please, baby. Please, Kim. Please, just come to the house. You won't be homeless, please. Kim. 
come down here and get the money. Go and get your damn operation and get out of my life. Kim! What the hell are you? Kim or whatever you call yourself. No need to throw insults, Timini. Just send me Louisa's number. I'll set this right, I promise. And by the way, I was never pregnant for you. Hello? This is Kim. Please, please, Louisa, please don't cut the phone. Just give me a listening ear, if not for anything, for Timini's sake. Can I help you? Okay. Um, I was not pregnant for Timini. In fact, I have never had anything with Timini before. Actually, I drugged him that night. Timini has no knowledge of what happened that night. He didn't touch me. Not even a kiss. See, as silly as it might sound, I did all this because I was in desperate need of a home. But coming to think of it, what would I gain from destroying someone's home because I want mine? I'm so sorry. Timini is a good man. He is. Just please find it in your heart to forgive me and just let it go. Listen, Tim can be so many things, but I always knew you were lying. I'm sorry. Bele, sorry now. But thank you for this information. You didn't tell me who called. Kim. Which Kim? The one that I told you I was pregnant for him. Wow. So it's been lies all this while. <sighs> no regrets, girl. Right. Yes. You did the right thing. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. She already told me. I am so sorry. This is for you. <clears throat> Your boss? If I was having an affair with her, I would be at work. I resigned. <laughs> I'll be she sacked you. <laughs> What's in the worry you this girl? I beg, give me my ring. <laughs> <laughs> 